Hi guys, my name is Clifton and welcome to Concrete Projects, my home improvement and consulting channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about solar heating. Most of you probably watched a lot of videos about it, and most of you probably have one in stock, except for those who's living where the sun doesn't shine. Just quickly, remember to subscribe and click on those notification bells. So, let me give you my two cents. First pro, energy saving. A major advantage provided by water heater systems is energy saving. Up to 40% of a household's energy goes to water heating, and that is enormous. But it makes solar heating extremely attractive. Given that solar heating needs a little bit of electricity once installed, it's an obvious choice of heating your water on your electricity bulb. Second pro, low maintenance. A solar water heater won't need much of your time once you installed it. In general, if not misused, a solar heater can last 20 years if not more. To be in a safe site, you can have your system inspected every few years. The third pro, environmental friendly. My favorite and the most important. As you know, we are in a critical relationship with our environment and we desperately need to make changes to reduce our impact. And solar water heater is just one of the ways how we can do this, providing a massive saving on carbon emissions. The fourth pro, less space required. This is awesome. All the panels goes on the roof, so you need less space. And for domestic use, you only need two or three panels and you can choose the size according to your needs. Like everything else, there are some disadvantages. So let's start with the cons. Number one, high installation cost. Unfortunately, while solar heating is saving you money in the long run, the initial cost is expensive. A solar water heater is typically more complex than your electrical heater. You have to consider this. Installing a solar heater means you have to remove the old one. Installing panels and piping to connect the two. This makes solar heating initially an expensive option. Although this cost tends to be offset over the life of this water heater. Second con, dependent on climate. They also, obviously, are somewhat temperamental. On a sunny day, you'll get boiling water. And on a winter day, you'd be lucky to make it to tempered. The third con, it only heats water. This system can only be used to heat water. But on the other hand, if your purpose is only to heat water for domestic use, that's all you need. So, what's the verdict? Go solar. Honestly, the benefits of a solar heater completely overshadows the disadvantages. Over a typical 20 year lifespan, it will easily recoup the cost of installation and save money on maintenance. Lastly, the environmental fact can't be ignored. And that is the responsibility of everybody to consider. The fact is, they are effective and environmentally friendly heating solution. So, there you go. My two cents. Have an awesome day. Remember, keep it simple.